What is up friends? Welcome back. Day 12 of full workouts. We ran a lot of basketball today. Uh, today is going to be heavy squats. I'm trying to bulk, but honestly this basketball is not helping. So we've got squats today and heavy quads. Um, we're gonna start warming up, get warm, and then go from there. The opposite side, one, two, three. Walking side to side. Music going. Alright, goal is to finish within an hour and 25 minutes. Switch. Oh, the glutes are tight. Alright, I'm gonna do some cat cows. And rotate one. And we're gonna do it five times. Two. Something for balance is always the best, so we're just gonna go side to side. Just opening up the adductors so I can open up my hips. McGill's big three. One, two, three, five, six. On your core, shoulder strength, balance. Six, seven, eight, nine. But seriously, I start stalling and taking forever, so y'all are my. Oh, accountability buddy. So we're gonna warm up with the bar. We're gonna move up in weight until we get to our working sets and then go from there. I've already taken a pre-workout today so I don't have anything left in me. Well, I guess the caffeine lasts a lot, but that's all I got. Mixing a little creatine in there. Right, right, right. And then I do have some PT drills I have to do after this workout to strengthen my unilateral movement as well as my hip flexors and just all of the muscles that are lacking currently. So we've got core, hip flexors, and we're not working the glute bead too much, but those are the main ones I need to work on. You guys will notice that my right finger is not gripping because I jammed it playing basketball today. So she's just going to be hanging on. You're doing 135 and a set of one to three. Starting week four of programming as a prep to the prep. Nothing crazy, but this is more volume. But today we have a heavier set of threes and then three sets of five. So the goal for the threes is at least 225 and the goal for the fives is 200. Feeling kind of light, I should have had lunch. All right, we're at 185 now. We're gonna start bouncing up because I really need to work on that intra-abdominal pressure. All right, friends, let's run it, 185. We're doing this for a set of one and the reason why as we go up in weight, we're doing less reps is because we're just getting used to the weight on our back. We're not trying to get a workout through the workup weight. So I'm gonna do a set of one and then we're gonna move up in weight, do a set of one and then eventually get to our working weight. We've got 225 next. All right, friends, 225 for a single with a jam finger. Three's is looking rough today. 
We're gonna pee and see how we're doing and come back. All right, y'all, honestly, that basketball really wore me out, so I'm gonna try to do the best I can, which has no guarantees. One set of top, one top set of three, and then we can go down to 200s. Hit that 225 for three. Now we've got three sets of five back down, but this is the most important part. I try not to skip my back down because that's when the real work comes in. So we're gonna take two minutes rest and then jump back in. She doesn't think she's pretty pretty she's pretty right but i tilt my head because of my little baby bang so we're gonna do it without it most important thing for me on this one obviously i'm not gripping with this index finger which is fine because i like to bend the bar against my back anyway so most of the grip is going to be on the outer point of my hands um, and i press it into my back so it's like a single unit so i'm not really gripping with these fingers second most important thing is i gotta watch out for my butt wink because when i get lazy i do that or i just drop to the floor and like pop up barely um, and then the final thing is keeping my knees out so Lunging, 
So I've been getting a little bit of glute pain, so we're switching it up. Two. We've got JHR glute hammy raise, um, and this is gonna be focused on the glutes, the hamstrings, a lot of hamstrings, the way that I'm doing it. It's a little confusing, but I'll walk it through with you guys. We're doing a set of 10, three sets of 10. I smell like sweat. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the platform is close enough for your feet to actually reach. Um, you're gonna go ahead and get into the machine you're gonna wanna tie up your hair because you don't wanna slap your own face. But you're gonna place your foot on the platform. I like to turn my knees slightly out. It doesn't have to be crazy. But the reason why it's called the glute hand raise is because you're gonna lower down here. Actually, I won't even need my... All right, so you're gonna lower and you're... Actually, let's start up here. This is the full contraction, right? And then you're gonna bend your knees to go here and then your hips to go here. So you're gonna go hips up knees knees hips hips knees knees hips hips knees and essentially when i say that i mean i'm bending it right so we're straightening the knees out going down with the hips coming up the hips bending the knees i've lost count i'm gonna say that's five six seven eight Holy. All right, last but not least, adductor. I'm grabbing a pad in case I'm not tall enough, but we're doing three sets of 12. We're gonna open it up. So right now it's in its most contracted form, you wanna open it up as wide as you can. And what I like to do is just get up from the seat a little bit and then pull it out. That's gonna give me a greater range of motion so I don't stop. So we're doing this for 12. Oh, I guess I don't need the pad. All right, all right. Well, lean all the way back. And we're doing this for 12. One, two, and we're adding, adducting, so we're bringing it together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, if you seriously need to squat yourself on this one, let's say you're really struggling, you can use your hands and just help press it in. Ideally, you don't have to, but like if it comes down to it, this is the easiest machine to squat yourself. And then once you're done, you're gonna come up again and you're gonna close it and rest. So we're gonna rest for about a minute and then we'll do our next set.